Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Adidas Sequoia sunglasses. But first off, in today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 54 millimeter lenses in a 20 millimeter bridge. Now, the exact core way that these frames have are their max black frames uh, with these turquoise gradient lenses. So right here, this frame was the matte black frames uh, with their vintage green uh, CR39 lens. And I actually had them swap out that lens uh, for the gradient turquoise lens. Originally, I wanted the turquoise lens, but I decided that the gradient looked a little bit cooler uh, with the matte black frames. But I also do think the turquoise uh, lens from the Burt Timber colorway would actually look really incredible as well. And actually, probably my favorite Corway is the uh, burnt timber corway uh, with the turquoise lenses, but this is definitely a close second. And also, obviously, I did have these customized, so I'm going to really like these as well a lot as far as the core combination goes. It just looks really, really beautiful, especially when wearing these frames outdoors. I really do like these. Now, as far as the lens category here, they're a lens category two here at the top, and they go down to completely clear here, so category zero. So these lenses are not going to be extremely practical practical for blocking the sun, but I think they make up for it with their really, really cool styling. Uh, definitely not a pair you want to wear in extremely harsh, bright, and sunny environments, but definitely something you'd want to wear indoors or in sh mostly shaded areas. Uh, where it's still bright and you want to take the edge off a little bit. They'd also be great for overcast days as well. So these frames definitely still have a great use case, uh, but I believe most or all of the frames on their website have a category two uh, solid lens or a category three lens. So you definitely can get these frames uh, with uh, much darker lenses than what I have to show off in today's video. Now, as far as styling goes, I actually really like the look of these frames. They are very, very, very big and bold, but Dita just does big frames right. They don't make them look goofy or gaudy. They just make these big frames look really classy on the face in my opinion. And I think these frames fit my face really, really good, even though they are just a massive pair of frames uh, on the face. Because these frames are so big, they definitely are going to be pretty heavy coming in at 47 grams. So that's very, very heavy. That's, I think, very similar to the original Ray-Ban Wayfair. But the original Ray-Ban Wayfair has all glass lenses, and these have CR39 lenses. Uh, so definitely a heavy pair. So as you can see, in fact, they do have those CR39 lenses. If these had all glass lenses, man, your nose would be in for some real pain and suffering if you wore them for any extended amount of time. Uh, but they do have a good balance to them, uh, but they're still gonna be heavy, so just definitely keep that in mind. But that's what you're gonna get when you get a big bulky pair of acetate sunglasses. You're just gonna get you know that extra weight there. Now, if we take a look at the front of the frames, you can see they don't say Sequoia or Dita or anything like that whatsoever. Uh, on these lenses and it's not just like that because this is a custom pair that's the way it is on other pairs of the sequoia which is definitely interesting uh, to note they don't have any of that text which you typically find on a dita aviator frame now if we take a look here at the top corners of the frames we can see these hexagonal screws uh, for the hardware and that adds a really cool look to the frames as well uh, kind of having a open hole through the little screw there just it looks really interesting in my opinion and a lot better than like a ugly Phillips screw or something like that so it does definitely looks a uh, pretty classy and nice and it's not just there for show that is actually what uh, holds the all metal hinge onto the frame now these have extremely beefy a uh, gold plated uh, metal hinges which feel really really good when to open these up and when closing them now these are a, only a three barrel hinge so they're not like a five barrel hinge which is really interesting uh, because these frames are so big they definitely could have fit a much bigger hinge here, uh, but uh, the actual size of the hinge is massive. So even though it's not like a five barrel hinge or a seven barrel hinge, the three barrel hinge is just really, really big, which is nice. And of course, there is the little Dita Shield logo on that hinge as well. Now, if we take a look at the outside left ear, as we can see a little D uh, logo embedded into the estate for authentication purposes. Now, if we take a look at the inner left temple of frames, we can see a little golden Adidas logo there for authentication purposes. And then here in the inner uh, right temple, we can see it says a coil with the model number. Now, the model number is going to be incorrect because I did customize these. But these frames did start out with the vintage uh, green lenses. So that's why it does have that information right there. And then moving down the temple, we can see it does say made in Japan because these frames, of course, are made in Japan and the build quality here is 
really, really good. A uh, Japanese acetate is basically second to none. Uh, definitely the finest in the world in my personal opinion. I really, really do love uh, frames that are made in Japan. The quality is just next level. And of course, uh, Deed is known for their Japanese titanium work as well. So not too surprising here, the build quality of these is really, really good. Definitely a lot better than something like Ray-Ban. And these frames have this absolutely beautiful metal core that runs all the way down through the temples of the frames. However, because this pair is completely solid black, unfortunately you cannot see it at all, but in some of the other more translucent uh, colorways, you definitely can see it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And again, that is one of the downsides of getting the matte black colorway. You're going to miss out on some of the beautiful details of the frames even though it is still there and it still does exist with the beautiful etching and everything it's just kind of sad that you don't get to see it uh, with this pair of frames because of the colorway here uh, so not the end of the world but it definitely does change up the looks because normally you'd be able to see it right here and look really beautiful and add some good contrast to it but you're not gonna be able to see it with the darker colorways of course uh, now, as far as the lens quality goes, these are a very high quality lens. They're going, going to block 100% of UVA and UV rays, which is extremely important for your eye health. Especially on those overcast days, you can still have you know, harsh UV light uh, that's happening around you. So you definitely want to block those uh, rays. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, not that it matters too much because these lenses uh, don't block too much light to begin with, uh, but there is a big gap to let sunlight in unprotected here up top. And then here on the side, again, there is a massive gap to let sunlight in unprotected. Now, overall, I think it's an absolutely beautiful pair of frames. I really do like these uh, styling of these, and I think they look really, really great. Uh, I, I, again, I love how Dita makes these frames oversized, but still look really classy and nice and not too, you know, bold and nerdy. They still look really classy, but they are still a really big pair of frames. Now, as far as pricing goes, these frames are going to cost you $500 directly from Dita's website. So I'm going to leave a link description below directly to the website if you are interested in picking up a pair of these frames. Well, that's all I got for this video. Let me know what you think about these frames in the comment section down below. Uh, do you like the customization that I did on these or do you prefer some of the other colorways? But yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give me a big thumbs down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.